Alan, that Kenosha DA saying that he took a lot of time coming to a decision about whether to charge the police officers involved in this. And he said what he was able to come up with was a process that was very thorough and a decision that was very narrow. I announce today before you that no Kenosha law enforcement officer in this case will be charged with any criminal offense. Michael Gravely and his team took nearly two hours to contextualize what he called a domestic incident last August. Gravely described how the mother of Blake's children, Lakeisha Booker, had called 911 to report Blake had taken the keys to her rental car and was planning to leave in it with their kids. Police arrived knowing there was a felony arrest warrant for Blake. And today, the DA confirmed Blake had a knife on him, something they say Blake himself admitted to state investigators. We say with confidence based on Blake's admission, based on all the officers saying it, and this video evidence, he clearly is armed with a knife as he walks around and approaches the driver's door. Gravely maintained he would not be able to convince a jury that Officer Reston Shesky, who wrestled with Blake and eventually shot him while his children were in the car, did not fear for his life at that moment. When there is enough information to raise self-defense, the burden of proof is on the state. It's on the prosecutor to disprove self-defense. The Wisconsin Attorney General appointed a use of force expert for this investigation. Former Madison Police Chief Noble Ray saying the officer's actions that day followed training and protocol. We've got to find the right decision. It's got to be grounded in truth. It's got to be grounded in facts. That's the obligation that I was given when they told me to, to look at this. It has been a stressful endeavor to be involved in policing for 37 years and to be an African-American male. And I feel it in the worst way. I really feel like the Blake family and Blake, Mr. Blake himself have tried to be real, uh, truly positive forces in the community, asking the community to have peaceful but real dialogue about change. The district attorney saying that uh, Mr. Blake faces no charges as a result of what actually happened back in August. And we can tell you right here, you can see the concrete barriers. The National Guard is just back at some of the uh, buildings back behind me. The city is tense right now. They'll also be awaiting the results of a federal civil rights investigation into this incident. That They're going to be making their own decision about whether to charge any of the police officers involved. And that's still to come. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.